believe it or not you may not meet another man called umman chandi other than the former kerala chief minister and congress leader who passed away it is not just his name that makes the 79 year old leader unique but his popularity among the kerlites as the most compassionate leader in recent times though he emerged as the tallest leader of the congress in the state he never wanted to go beyond the boundaries of kerala he looked more like a reluctant bride when appointed aicc general secretary in charge of andhra pradesh he preferred to remain close to his home turf udupalli in kottayam district which he represented in the state assembly by setting the record for the longest tenure of 53 years and 12 terms looks may deceive as the unassuming leader was one of the most astute politicians in the state who ushered in a generation shift in the state congress this started in 1970 when he as the then president of the state youth congress was elected to the state assembly along with the host of young turks this started in 1970 when he was the president of the state youth congress and was elected to the state assembly along with a host of young turks he was initiated into politics through the kerala students union the students wing of the congress a graduate in law chandi went on to become the minister of labor at the age of 33 in his second term in the assembly and became the home minister at the age of 37 in his third term in 1980 however he had to wait for almost a quarter of a century to get the coveted post of the chief minister the mantle fell on umman chandi in 2004 when his leader ak antony had to resign following the pathetic show in the lok sabha elections after his term as chief minister in 2006 he led the opposition till 2011 in the state assembly in the same year he returned to power with a wafer thin majority of two seats though the then opposition leader ridiculed it as a government which may fall if two ruling party mlas go to the loo together chandi was determined he was determined to complete the term and during this second stint he launched a mass contact program to meet people and hear their grievances and ensure relief to them his program was widely lauded as a unique democratic experiment in which the chief minister of a state met thousands of people directly without any intermediaries listened to the woes of the people and found immediate and instant solutions the program received the united nations global award for public service in 2013 however the solar scam which pointed fingers at some members of his personal staff hit the government and the party really bad he had to pay a heavy price both professionally and personally he failed to lead his party to power in 2016 owning up the responsibility of the defeat he chose to remain just as an mla and refused to accept any parliamentary post though his party could not return to power in 2021 umman chandi recorded his 12th win to the state assembly thus remaining unbeaten throughout his life